When you book Charles Marshall for your event, you're creating an entertainment experience that people will talk about for months afterwards. Charles is one of the most popular corporate comedians performing today and has almost 20 years experience speaking to audiences all over the United States. When they first started doing this, I kid you not, I was walking through the metal detector and they confiscated my fingernail clippers. Do you remember that? that my fingernail clippers, because of that little one-inch nail file on there, supposed to be very dangerous, so they took them away. They confiscated them, which worried me because I'm thinking, now what am I going to do if I get into a fight? <laughs> Before I was a force to be reckoned with. You want a piece of me? Oh, you want a piece of me? Is that where we are now? Are these things now considered lethal weapons? Are people holding up banks and liquor stores with these things? Everybody get your hands up, nobody moves, nobody gets manicured. I am not saying you don't need to pay attention to the safety announcements on the plane. By all means, do it. Whenever the plane takes off, whenever the plane lands, they tell you to please return your seat to the upright position. Still all tray tables. But it's an amazing thing to me that the position of your seat on an airplane can even be considered a safety hazard in the first place because they only recline three inches anyway, don't they? <laughs> Listen, here's your seat in the upright position. This is fully reclined. <laughs> and for some reason, the people in the airline industry have determined that this position perfectly safe, nothing can happen to you, no turbulence, get to your gate on time. This one, very dangerous. <laughs> Want the plane to crash? Uh -huh. Get that seat up. <laughs> Tragedy averted. absolutely awesome he did a wonderful job i had no idea this was going to be so good tonight each year charles travels approximately 100,000 miles to perform in over 100 corporate and civic venues from new york to california his animated delivery and original observations have captivated over 1,000 audiences over the past two decades including many fortune 500 companies Kids acting up in the grocery store. Have you seen that? The kids acting up in the grocery store. The parent hasn't even seemed to notice, stressing out the rest of the store. Finally, get, the parent gets a, a clue when they see the rest of us heading over to the kid with pitchforks, clubs, and torches. And they throw, what do they do when they, when they get serious? They threaten the kid with counting to 10. Have you seen that? You better not, I'm going to count to 10. What's up with that? Like the kid's going to be scared of big numbers or something? <laughs> not in seven, seven if you had, not double digits, please, not double digits, I'm sorry. <laughs> My mama would have started spanking me right there in the, in the back of the store, spanking me all the way out of the store, and didn't care who was watching. It was a different age back then. Mamas weren't so concerned with who might see. Back then, it, 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 total strangers would help your mama spank you out of the store. <laughs> It was a community project. But talk about kids having too much stuff. Now get this. My next door neighbor has a son that is six years old and he has a CD player, which is not that big of a deal. They've come way down in price over the years. But he has a CD collection, a record collection that goes all the way from the floor, almost all the way up to the ceiling at six years old, a record collection. Did you have a record collection when you were six years old? Listen, this is the truth. The only records I had when I was six years old were the ones I had to cut off the back of honeycomb cereal boxes. Remember that sugar? We didn't know any better. We were rocking to the Archies. It was hilarious. You know, when you talk about side splitting, I loved it. Charles is also a nationally syndicated humor columnist and the author of the popular humor book, I'm Not Crazy, But I Might Be a Carrier. Charles has produced two stand-up comedy videos, which have been featured on television and radio all across the country. When you and I first went on the market, okay, a number of years ago, our product was selling at an all-time high, trading was vigorous, and we were a hot commodity. Am I right? Tell me the truth. Back me up. But since that time, now this is going to hurt, since that time, a couple of things have happened. First, recession hit, all right? And then inflation, all right? 
so that, and I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings tonight, I'm so going to put this as delicately as I can, so that your stock value has plummeted. <laughs> Hot young babes don't even see you anymore. They see an empty chair where you're sitting right now. <laughs> Me too, they're just seeing a, a microphone standing up here in the air talking by itself. <laughs> Where's all that sound coming from? But I don't want you to be discouraged. God forbid if anything happens between you and your wife or ever happened to your wife, you still have markets wide open available to you. For example, right here, like, like this guy right here, you are still testing very high in the 80-year-old and up market, okay? <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, you're a hot young thing in their market. They, they like you. Let me tell you what, you, you are you're a tasty little treat. You're eye candy to them, buddy. Oh, they like you. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you. Oh my goodness. Now, now, let me tell you the truth. If you're single and you need some dating interest, you know one of the quickest ways you can get people knocking on your door? Go get you a couple of billion dollars. <laughs> Isn't that right? Isn't that true? You're going to have somebody knocking on your door if you've got money. Listen, Donald Trump would not be dating supermodels if he drove a Ford Fiesta, okay? <laughs> and while we're on the subject, I would rather look like this than like that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. When you schedule entertainment for your event, it's important that the person is funny without offensive language or imagery. Charles knows that it's his job to make his host look good by providing a program that's not only hilarious, but also clean enough for everyone in the audience to enjoy. Charles is familiar with the corporate culture and is extremely popular with meeting planners because of his ability to deliver role in the aisles laughter that is absolutely clean. Charles is also the author of the motivational book, Shattering the Glass Slipper, and offers his host the option of closing his program with a brief motivational message or communicating that message in a keynote speech. When you need an event that will be a surefire home run, you need Charles Marshall. Charles's popularity continues to grow at an exponential rate, and his schedule books up very quickly. Be sure to lock in your date as soon as possible to ensure that your event has the top-notch program that will have your people thanking you afterward. You guys have been wonderful. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you.